Hello everyone, this is Robek here from Dance Music for Everyone. .com, and this is our second video on this free DJ software called Mix. This video is about um, interfacing a MIDI controller with Mix. Uh, so, uh, Mix uh, has a lot of support to most of the MIDI controllers out there. As you can see, I have here an old one. It's a DJ console MK2 from Hercules and it's still supported by this software so to connect your MIDI controller you just need to go to options, preferences um, and here go to the MIDI controller section uh, I'm sorry this, is, this isn't in English but this is the MIDI controller section it automatically detected my Aircoast DJ console MK2 I just need to come here to the definitions and load uh, the Hercules DJ console MK2 key map. Uh, this uh, this file contains all the the keys in the in the MIDI controller and uh, automatically know de detect their functions. Uh, this if your MIDI controller is supported by Mix. Otherwise, you will need to Google for someone with the same MIDI controller that you that already developed a key map for mix so uh, what I'm going to show you is what is supported and what is not supported in this specific MIDI controller with mix notice that uh, this MIDI controller is not a hundred percent not a hundred percent of these features are uh, detected uh, in the mix default key map but uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, the m newer MIDI controllers out there are mo much more supported because they they are putting their efforts in support the new stuff out there and not the old stuff like I have here and I completely understand that but uh, even this way uh, most of the features are pretty well supported so as you can see the basic mixer functionalities the faders are working perfectly the cross fader the response is is n not optimal but uh, it's playable so we have our uh, bass mid and treble faders um, our play pause is quite responsive. Uh, we have our Q button that we can adjust using our jog wheels. These jog wheels can be um, can be configured to be a scratch mode, like vinyl turntable, or uh, jog wheel mode like uh, CD players, where you just use to increase or decrease pitch in beat matching. So you can just go to a certain position with this jog wheel this jog wheel is not uh, as accurate as it should be a little touch will end up in a larger displacement if you are just aiming for that specific spot can be sometimes hard but you get used to it so you, uh, you hit Q and you can play with the sound put it to play get back to the Q so the usual feature of the Q button. So, what more uh, do we have here? The go back and forward in the track buttons are not working. I don't know why, but as I said before, it's, this could be just in this specific MIDI controller because it's old. Uh, other stuff that is working pretty well is the pitch band, as you can see here on the software and you can notice the music going faster and slower um, also the, the pitch can be changed here uh, in the pitch uh, fader so pretty much as I notice everything with the exception of the track forward and back is working but some of some of the things here uh, in mix work differently differently than it they work on virtual dj for instance that was the default software that came with this midi controller for instance 
Okay, if you already used uh, um, Virtual DJ with the MIDI controller, you know that this wheel right here is to go up and down in your playlist, and these buttons here are to load the music to deck one or two. Here, uh, to go up and down on your playlist, use these master tempo keys that don't uh, do the master tempo f uh, function here on mix. Just go up and down in your library, and the the load buttons are the same and work correctly. So I'm not saying this is wrong; it's just different than Virtual DJ. So other stuff that are different here from Virtual DJ is the this section here for effects, hot cues and loops. The effects, as I said in the previous uh, video, are not working so far on Mix, as far as I know. Uh, by the way, if you don't know this program, uh, this free DJ software Mix, go check the previous video on this to get an overview of these features. Uh, so the effects are not working, the the buttons are activating and, de and deactivating the FX light, but there are no effects present. So let's get to the hot cues. The hot cues work pretty much as Virtual DJ. You have three buttons that can define three hot cues. Uh, for instance, let's define one hot cue here. As I said, the the response uh, when you activate the hot key is not bad, but the response when you set the hot key is kind of it's kind of slow as some latency because. If you press it right on the beat, it goes like a uh, half beat up front. There's some latency since the moment you press the hot cue to the moment that the uh, hot cue appears on the software. So you gotta count with it. But the response once you, once you have the of the sets, I think it's not so bad. So as you as you can see, the it's the same functionality that you got on Virtual DJ. So last but not least, the loop function. The loop function here is kind of different. I'm used to in Virtual DJ to use the uh, loop buttons to control uh, here the the section of the predefined uh, loops. So I go up and down and I select the one that I want to use. Here in Mix I found that this is not the way they they put it this. In here you use the button 1 to start the loop and the button 2 to, s to finish the loop and the button 3 to activate or deactivate the loop which means you can only do manual loops. You have to select your your start and your ending of the loop and you use the third button to activate or deactivate the loop. I want this loop going, I deactivate the loop, the music keeps going and I can get back to the loop and I can change the ending of the loop and I can deactivate. To start another one is just new beginning, new ending, keep going to deactivate. So it's different. Uh, but is not uh, that bad. The only, the, only, the only bad thing is because the latency is going to be hard for you to select a perfect loop like start on the beat and finish on the fourth beat sometimes will be slightly off because of the latency that you have since the moment that you press the button to the moment that it happens. I don't know if the problem is from my old MIDI controllers, if, if it's from the software, if it's from the latency on the USB communication. I don't know, I'm not here to accuse anyone, but there is some latency. Uh, so that was pretty much it. I'm just going to show you uh, here the headphone part. It's it's all working pretty well. So I'm going to do some playing, and I get I get here my um, headset jack, uh, headphone jack, and I can control if I'm listening to deck A, deck B mix that is uh, both in simultaneous and split that is one in each um, here of your headphones so 
you can control the volume that you are listening to the to the song in your headphones and you also can input your uh, microphone jack and control the volume and use the talk over function that is working too so uh, that was pretty much it if you uh, as you can see even for a uh, old midi controller this is really old uh, mix has almost like 90 95% of support um, uh, I believe that for new MIDI controllers there will be a hundred percent support and there will be lots of people customizing the the key maps uh, changing things like to put it equals to virtual DJ or to tractor and you'll be able to download that on the internet and use it too so uh, that was pretty much it congratulations to the mix community they are doing a great job and I hope they keep improving this and who knows if we're gonna have someday a uh, free and open source uh, DJ software taking over the DJ market so that's it and I see you next time